Willie O'Connor made his Grand Slam of Darts debut in 2019 by virtue of his run to the final of the World Cup with Steve Lennon. In his first group stage game, he faced Darren Webster, but there was drama ahead of the game as Webster spilt water over O'Connor's dart case. Willie said that this distracted and bugged him, but he went on to win 5-3. The players shook hands and hugged following the match, but there was drama in the interviews. I got a bit annoyed early on, you know, I got water poured all over my, all over my equipment and everything, and uh, I felt like I gave him a leg early on, so, you know. I'm not sure whether it was a key moment or not, but like it was a key moment was giving him a leg for free, wasn't it? Yeah, nice. So I said we saw that at the end. Was that what that was about? The ball being poured over your stuff? Yeah, I mean the whole place covered in water, you know, my hands are covered in water, all my equipment was covered in water. It wasn't exactly the best and uh, you know, wasn't the the best thing to happen, was it? No. Yeah. Do you think it was on an accident or do you think it was done as gamesmanship? I, I'm not sure whether it was an accident or gamesmanship. The fact of the matter was it happened and it was you know, it, it was a bit of a bit of a problem for me to deal with, so you know, it happened and I got over it, so on to the next one. Webster responded to the fact that Willie refused to rule out gamesmanship by tweeting that darts needed VAR and that it was an accident as the glass was upside down. He also spoke about it in an interview. The glass I filled, I said, be careful, I said, I spilled some. And that's all I even knew about it. So I didn't, until I got back to the room and then there's all this water gate and whatever, and uh, good luck to him, do you know what I mean? Okay. Next time he play me, he'll wear waders, because I'll, if, you know, if I want to do games, the ship, I'll pull it over his head. Not on his dark case, do you know what I mean? But I don't do that. I never have done in 20 years, I've never been here, yeah, I don't do games with ship. Ahead of his following game, Webster held his glass in front of the crowd whilst pouring as a joke, which his opponent, Dave Parletti also enjoyed. A similar incident happened in the third round of the 2019 Dutch Darts Masters where Jermaine Watamena faced Ian White on home soil with the chance to get through to his first Euro Tour quarter final. During the warm up darts, Watamena spelt water over the shared player's table causing liquid to go all over White's dart case and crucially his chalk which was ruined as well as his towel. Unlike O'Connor, White had a laugh about this and the game was delayed by a few minutes whilst officials brought towels to dry everything. White went on to win 6-2 and shook his darts case to dry it as a joke. Following the game, Ralby John Rodriguez shared this funny video on Twitter which showed Wright drying his case in the toilet. <laughs> Both White and O'Connor had a strange moment ahead of their quarter final game at the 2019 Players Championship final, which was Willie's first appearance in a singles major quarter final. When the players went to pour out their water, they realised that the glasses were dirty, and it turned out that they had not been changed between games, meaning that the glasses on stage had been used by Michael Van Gerwen and Mervyn King. Ross Spray eventually went to get some fresh water and glasses and the players got on with the game, which White won in a decider. Phil Taylor met Daryl Gurney for the first time on TV in the quarter-finals of the Grand Slam in 2017. Ahead of the game, Phil had some words to say about Gurney's on-stage behaviour. We'll see, we'll see with Daryl, yeah, he's got to cheer up a little bit, he's got to act himself and you know, he's not that type of person. He doesn't play like he can, I don't think. He's better player than that, to be honest with you. As soon as he puts his proper game up there and he smiles and he be his normal self, he'd be more more of a more of a Van Gerwen, I think. So a real threat once he starts to enjoy it a bit more, you'd say? I would say enjoy yourself a little bit, yeah, stop being so miserable. As a person, I love him. As a player, I don't like watching him. Thank you, Phil. I'm being honest. No, that's fine, thanks. Taylor walked on first and didn't pour any water, and then Gurney walked on after and only poured water for himself. Phil held his empty glass up to the crowd to show this, and he went on to win 16-4. He had some surprising words to say about Gurney in the interview after. The worst thing he did, he went on stage and poured himself a drink of water and left me out. I thought, you disrespectful little That's yeah. my exact thoughts. Yeah. I thought, I'll get you, I'll get you for that. He needs to learn. Is he a future dart? Nah, no, I don't think so. 103.97 average. It was a 66 average. I beat Daryl Gurney. Let him go home. Let him, let him, let him know 
let him sit down and cry a little bit, because I don't really give a shit, to be honest with you. I think he's got a nightmare now. I think he needs to grow up. I think he needs to, to, to look, reevaluate what he's doing, reevaluate his career. He's a cracking player. And if I managed him, trust me, he'd win everything. If I could get hold to him, I'd make sure he wins every tournament there ever is, because he's one hell of a dark player, but his attitude isn't wrong. Gurney responded to the comments about his negative personality by grinning in an interview at the Players' Championship Finals. There was a similar moment at the 2019 International Darts Open where Adrian Lewis faced William O'Connor who was involved in yet another water incident. O'Connor walked on first and when Lewis arrived he realised that Willie had only poured water for himself and they had some words about this. AD went on to win 6-4 and he explained the moment in his post-match interview. Uh, normally I'll pour somebody a, a water, and there's no water, he didn't pour me a water, I was like, hey up, um, but he, he was told by Peter Wright, don't pour anybody any water, so I was like, what, 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 what why not, um, I, I don't know, so, um, sometimes little things, I mean, it's, 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 a, men it's a mental game, you know, well, I, no, I, no, I mean, obviously, you know, myself and everybody else, it's, he always poured the opponent water all the time. And when he, he poured himself a drink, and not me, I was, I don't know. A strange moment happened in the 10th leg of a match between Nico Springer and Scott Williams at the most recent Eurotour event. In this leg, ahead of match starts, Springer had a drink of water, mistakenly from Williams' bottle. Williams alerted him to this, and Springer apologised and both players laughed about it following the tie. Rob Cross's remarkable rookie year culminated with his World Championship final against Phil Taylor, where Voltage took the first set 3-1. In the first leg of the second set, Cross went for a drink whilst Taylor attempted a 1-3-2 checkout. After Taylor hit 25, Cross attempted to put his water down, but spilt it all over the table. Cross apologised, and Taylor laughed, but he was clearly distracted and threw a poor second dart. This wasn't the first water incident Cross was involved in, as during the qualifier for the 2015 BDO World Championship, Cross was disqualified in the fourth round for drinking water as there was a rule that no drinks were allowed on the stage, leading to him being branded a cheat. Another water spillage happened at the 2015 Sydney Darts Masters, where during the first leg of his game against Raymond van Barneveld, Michael van Gogh dropped a glass on the stage, making a big mess. The pair were also involved in a funny moment in 2020 at a drive-in darts exhibition where the VIPs got to have their cars cleaned by the Dutch legends. During this, van Gogh threw a bucket of water over Barney. I said, yeah, this is only a photo here. Yeah, oh, wait, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh. <laughs> However, Van Gogh and his fallen foul of a similar moment. Jamie Caven made his final World Match Play appearance in 2016 when he was whitewashed 10 0 by Michael Van Gogh. Van Gogh said that he was very hot and was cooled down when Caven poured a glass of water over his head. Both players laughed about this, and Wayne Mardle made this joke. But Jamie came and dropped a little bit of one over my ass. That was the only thing he hit all night. Yeah. <laughs> That's really quite bad for you to, to, to say that. <laughs>